Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, thanks to Gurgling Gore, we have their new four-way split. Or, I kind of consider this a sampler, but absolute convergence. Four of Gurgling Gore's most popular bands, in my opinion. And Absolute Convergence features Parallax Occlusion Fumes on the A-side, Celestial Sanctuary, and Thorn on the B-side. One song from each, which is why I said it's kind of like a sampler slash split. Very nice cassette cosmetics. I'll show you in a moment. Now, I disagree with the new wave of brutal death metal tag, but I thought it was pretty humorous, honestly. I thought it was kind of cool. Like, I was like, whoa, like, that's kind of like how I feel about the OSDM tag. We don't call, you know, like, radio stations old school rock classic rock so why should it be any different for the music we like when it comes to like death metal like i just don't like that term old school death metal or osdm it's just one of those things like can it just be death metal you know but like i love you know when death metal's brutal brutal death metal we all know that bdm but Back to the release at hand. Never mind my ramblings. But you get pretty much... Let's say you were in a coma. And you were a fan of death metal before this coma. You were actually at Milwaukee. The last Milwaukee Metal Fest. And you got kicked in the back of the head by a pair of steel toes. And you wake up in the year 2022, and you're looking for some modern death metal. Now, me personally, I would send you the completely opposite direction. But this is a great way to not only, let's say, you're new to death metal, getting back into death metal, or... You're just looking for some new bands. This is a great, great release. Because you get one song from each band. You're in, you're out. And you might have, you know, you know, a new favorite band out of one of these four. Like, seriously. And like I said, I feel like these are four of... Gargling Gore's more popular bands and whatnot. I'm actually stoked and surprised we get a Parallax occlusion song instead of like Wharf Lurch or something like that. So that's sick. And it's my first time hearing Celestial Sanctuary. I just never I, I never heard them before. So yeah, that band is really enjoyable. I, I liked it a lot. I might I might put that on real quick and show you the cassette cosmetics, but the artwork is fantastic. And that is done by I Bay a Friend. Or yeah, sorry if I messed up anybody's names. But you get parallax, occlusion, or occulation, I always forget. Fumes. Thorn and C Celestial Sanctuary. Not in that order. But I really like the fume song on here, Monolith. It's probably my favorite fume song. And the, the Thorn song's really good too. It's still not as good as like the demo. I, I really like this is one of those demos I just really really loved the thorn demo 
it just had something about it, like with chasms of rot and stuff. It was just a sick release. I always just enjoyed it. The first full length was really good as well. And I like this song a lot. Their latest, um, what's it called? Yawning Depths. I'll be honest, I have not really listened to this since I reviewed it. It just kind of was not really my thing compared to the rest of their discography. But, like, when it comes to gurgling gore, you know, heavy hails to Big Daddy Gore on this one. Because, you know, I know he's running a small operation that has a lot of eyes on them at the moment. When it comes to the death metal community. And I really love the whole cover layout here also. It's just fucking sick. Very 90s. Especially with like the pink and, and yellow. Looks, you know, like some vision streetwear shit. And, you know, again, stuff kind of works in circles. But... As with most Gurgling Gore releases, you get amazing cassette cosmetics. And look, both sides are also different. So yeah, that's fucking cool. I have a feeling this bad boy is going to end up on 12 inches of wax as a four-way split. I'm just guessing, because it's really that impressive of a you know gurgling gore split slash sampler and i know it's not really fair to call it a sampler it is a split but it's just kind of how i feel about it like it makes me it reminds me of those days of like not knowing what's on like you would get like a fucking metal blade sampler for like a dollar or some shit and like you know that's how i found out about bolt thrower when i was a kid was uh was when they first signed to metal blade and i remember i just got this metal blade sampler and i remember they were one of the bands besides like cannibal corpse that i you know really enjoyed on that uh compilation i wish i remember the name of it but it was uh when Bolt Thrower first like went on Metal Blade was when that came out. I just remember, uh, cause a buddy of mine, we were gonna do a Cannibal Corpse, I will kill you, at a, a, for a talent show. We were gonna just lip sync it, and I was gonna break an acoustic guitar over his head. We got shut down after the first verse of I will kill you. But uh, it was hilarious. Like, I was, I was wearing a werewolf mask, and it was just funny as shit. But again, just look at these tape cosmetics. It's fucking gorgeous. And the tunes within are pummeling death metal. Some of it's technical, some of it's just straight up fucking brutal sounding. And like I said, it's more pummeling than just like brutality and what i mean by brutality would be like you know kind of like mortuary goal immortal suffering you know shit like that's what when i'm talking about brutal that's what i'm talking about it's more along the lines of that like flesh rot like punchy sounding uh heaviness and you know not every band on here utilizes that but the songwriting is fantastic the drum programming by fumes as always fantastic i mean thorn yeah my bad and also fumes again both of those bands i always confuse shit because we have daniel from fumes and Brennan from Thorn, but we have 
Brendan Dean on vocals in Fumes, whose name I get confused with Br Brennan Westermeyer's name from Thorn. Are you confused? Because I fuck those names up all the time. And another reason is because of this right here. Sometime last year, <laughs> Fumes and Thorn did another split together on Gurgling Gore. And yeah, it's just one of those things like I just, I always would get the names confused. Like, I know the logos look nothing alike, but at the same time, it's just, I don't know. I think it's, I'm blaming my brain injury on this one. But again, Gurgling Gore don't play with their tape cosmetics, like I was saying. So I'm glad I get to show you some of this stuff. Like, normally you get, like, a nice O card and stuff with extra artwork. This is a good split also. I mean, I don't know how easy some of this stuff is to come by nowadays. But, like, yeah. Absolute convergence, like I said, this is... A great four-way split to get your feet wet, to find maybe some new bands to just check out, or, you know, like I said, if this is your first taste of death metal, I hope you enjoy this, because this is a great way to get those feet slimy and filled with meat chunks. You can either, to me, this is a great way to get into death metal. I would grab the Absolute Convergence 4-Way. Let's say you want to get into tapes, especially. I would grab this. I would grab the new Molder, Engrossed in Decay from Head Split Records. The cassette version, again, like I said. If you want to get into cassettes and death metal, as I don't know if this has a CD release, but if it does, still, this works. So let's say you want to get into death metal. I suggest the new Mulder record, the Gurgling Gore four-way split, and thanks to Liz, guess what finally showed up? I had no idea that they delivered mail on a national holiday, but yeah, the Flesh Rot tape finally arrived, Unburied Corpse, and it's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait for the vinyl to arrive. I have a feeling the vinyl is going to arrive today. I could be wrong, but you know, if the vinyl arrives today, that hilarious because we thought we were ordering this from the band directly off Bandcamp because we ordered it off of their Bandcamp not knowing it was connected to their American labels Bandcamp which I kind of don't really support or like ordering from them because what happened recently has happened plenty of times in the past um, it got to the point where we were waiting on this, and heavy hails to Liz, because she's never dealt with, like, people that don't answer emails and stuff with customer service, and she was even like, hey, like, I haven't heard back from this record label yet, and we didn't know that we even ordered from the record label, we thought we ordered fl from Flesh Rot themselves, so... I mean, it was off of their Bandcamp page, but I hit them up, and they were like, ah, nah, like, we don't even have copies. So I was like, ah, like, okay, like, I get it. So, you know, it is what it is, but, like, I've been waiting for the Flesh Rot full length for a minute. Like, since the first demo, the promo, like, I'm a big Flesh Rot fan. I think when it comes to modern American death metal, these boys from Lubbock, Texas fucking kill. 
But like when it comes to modern death metal, oh yeah, Unburied Corpse is definitely getting thrown into this beginner stack. And this is not really starter kit death metal, but it's a great way to get into the genre. These three releases are a great way to enjoy the genre. And especially when it comes to modern 2022 death metal releases. Although I've only listened to this once all the way through. Holy shit, is it awesome. I can't wait to hear the, that on vinyl. Because like the Motor LP sounds great also, but it sounds to me really awesome on cassette. Hale's Head Split. But... Also, hails to Gurgling Gore for helping keep an entire new generation stoked on death metal. Like, thank you, heavy fucking hails, seriously. But, my favorite track on here has to be Trapped Within the Rank Membrane by Celestial Sanctuary. I've never heard them before, so I was just like, holy shit, like, this band's sick. And I just really liked it. I don't know. I, again, I've never heard them before, so yeah, even for me, like, I, I mean, I've heard of them, but like, this is the first time I actually went out of my way to listen to them, and it was fucking awesome. So thank you, Gurgling Gore, because now I know, hey, I need to check out some more Celestial Sanctuary. That was some good shit. So, thank you. Definitely check out Absolute Convergence, Four Way Split, Parallax, Occlusion, Fumes, Celestial Sanctuary, and Thorn on Gurgling Gore. Get into it. And as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Thank you to Gurgling Gore for sending this over, and thank you to Liz for snagging Unburied Corpse by Flesh Rot. Uh, I can't wait for the MSUO LP version to show up. And again, heavy hails to fucking Liz. Everybody should say thank you to her in the comments. She's been nothing but awesome and has been helping the channel out massively. So just infernal fucking hails and as always thanks for watching you fucking rule hails to you as well